welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the biome settings for biomes. And if you go to the generations tab, we can see the new settings that have been added in. So looking at the biome temperatures, uh, what we have here is the climate control for the actual biome and the raining possibility. Raining possibility basically allows you to customize how much rain is going the chance of rain uh the temperature though um you can basically configure this so different types of values will affect the biome that it, it's in so for example zero point any value less than 0 0.15 so any value lower than that uh, it will basically ha make the biome uh, snow where any value between 0 0.15 and 1.5 will make the biome actually rain and lastly the values larger than 0 or 1.5 will actually be dry it will still rain in other biomes but it will be more like deserts where it just kind of gets a little bit darker so those are your settings for the temperature uh, for the biome itself Raining possibility is a little bit different. Uh, this controls the chance of it actually being able to rain. So it's the possibility of it even going to rain. Uh, some biomes like deserts will have lower rain probability compared to things that are more moist uh, environments uh, like swamps or stuff like that. So that's basically what this setting uh, controls. So there are a few different checkboxes here. There's these three checkboxes and the overworld uh, one at the very top will basically make the biome generate in the overworld. You can actually see the value of what the probability is through the uh, generation con biome generation uh, settings. Uh, this will be displayed down at the bottom here under the estimate. This is just kind of a rough idea of what it is. It needs to be between a certain value though. Uh, between 1 and 0 0.1 I believe so make sure that the other one is generating caves it's pretty self-explanatory it will actually generate the biome in caves and the other one is generate in the nether so if you want it to generate in any one of those uh, particular things you can enable those little check boxes there and it will generate in their respective biome uh, generation settings we'll cover that next the first thing that we'll look at is the estimate for the overworld biomes uh, so this will basically have effect when the values of the minimum and maximum are between a negative one and a positive one minecraft biomes actually use those values uh, you can go over up to negative two but it will not be taking those values into account so make sure that you use the respective values for the estimate or it will probably not display the proper information for it going to generate temperature is a little bit different for the generation these are basically like height maps uh, for where biomes are going to be generated from this point down so temperature itself is not the same as the temperature that is basically above now uh, this controls the actual temperature of the biome where the generation settings below control where it's going to be spawning uh, that's the difference between the generation temperature range and the actual climate temperature. Um, the values can be pretty much anything. Minecraft uses negative one to positive one. Biome generation humidity is a little bit different. This is uh, basically a height map where it will try to put the biomes closer together based on the humidity of the thing which is basically raining probability so biomes that are higher in rain will spawn closer together with biomes that are similar than things that hardly have any raining pro probability like with all the other gener biome generation settings if the values are too close to each other it will try to compete for the space um biome continentalness uh will basically control where the how far away from the sea the actual biome is some might be in the sea some might be over closer to the actual inland far inland depending on where the range is this has to do with its own little height map controlling where the biomes will be placed based on the distance from the sea so all these values here are basically what minecraft uses you can use these in your custom biomes or in vanilla minecraft as well uh, but yeah, again, make sure the values are not 
too similar so the biomes won't compete for the area so the next range is the biome generation erosion this will control the actual erosion so basically how where the biome will place based on how flat or bumpy the terrain is um, lower values will generate more flatly where higher values will generate more uh, on mountainous terrain that are uneven uh, you can basically control the values based on those settings right here uh, again the settings are similar to what minecraft uses in general for the values the last setting uh weirdness uh f this one's a little bit different um from playing around with it i think it has to do with either rarity or the biome size in general uh, rarity could be linked to the biome size in some aspect, but from what I have discovered, um, this will control basically the size of the biome regardless. It might make it a little bit more rare based on the values. So generally want to keep this around the same value, but you can play around with it a little bit. There's not much known on it at this time. Uh, there's hardly inform any information about it, but, um, yeah, that's basically the setting there. And again, it's between negative one and positive one, just like regular biomes. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Peace out.